the eclipse marks a pivotal moment in the British racing calendar because annually it's the group one in which three-year-olds take on their elders for the first time. Sandown's premier race also brings together two divisions of horses, the milers stepping up in trip to 10 furlongs and the middle distance horses dropping down from a mile and a half. It can impose a pleasing sense of order on the prevailing hierarchy. It can also be the making of a reputation. In 1971, Mill Reef drubbed the highly decorated French challenger Caro. In 1986, Dancing Brave bounced back from his luckless Derby second. In the year 2000, Giants Causeway established himself as the Iron Horse by rallying to beat Kalanisi. And in 2009, See the Stars demonstrated his versatility by winning his third Group 1 over three different distances in little more than two months. All those iconic Eclipse winners were three-year-olds. What can we expect from this year's classic generation? Camelot clearly aside, early signs from the Guineas, Derby and Oaks are neither decisive nor greatly encouraging. 24 individual horses from those four races ran at Royal Ascot last month and none of them won. However, this vulnerability is not reflected on a wider scale. Every horse in Britain earns a rating, not just the top class ones, and all reside on the same continuum. It's therefore worth examining how the three-year-olds are faring against their elders in the lower handicap grade, in which horses carry weight on a scale that increases in direct proportion with their rating. This reveals that three-year-olds are faring slightly above par against their elders in these races to date. Among the older generation in Saturday's Eclipse, title holder So You Think bids to emulate the likes of Matoto and Halling by winning this Group 1 in successive years. At the age of six, he would become the oldest horse to triumph since the race was first run in 1886 when Bendigo won. So You Think has an official rating of 125. It's starkly evident on paper that his opposition among the three-year-olds have a great deal of improvement suddenly to find, simply to live with him. However, his peer, Cityscape, and the two years younger Nathaniel are comparable. Will they be as effective in this scenario? Breeding offers encouragement for Cityscape's first try at the Eclipse distance. Selkirk, his dad, was a top-class miler, but seven of his nine most successful children all thrived at ten furlongs or more. One of Tantina's other sons was also best at a mile and a quarter. Cityscape produced the best performance of his career to date and earned that mark of 125 when stepped up to nine furlongs for the first time. The Dubai Duty Free was fast on the clock and he was still going on strong at the finish. Nathaniel's pedigree is packed with stamina. Influential stallion Galileo was himself world class at a mile and a half, although his offspring display versatility. Magnificent style was at her best at 10 furlongs, but her top progeny have blossomed over further, like Nathaniel, whose 2011 King George victory is his peak to date and earned that table-topping 126. However, So You Think outpaced him, finishing two and a half lengths ahead the last time they met over 10 furlongs. So that's the fascination of the eclipse in a nutshell. Who will be king of the variables?